Hi guys, this is Mitz. Jeff, one of our subscribers, asked for a video where we design and carve go and zero the Z from the spoil board instead of the top of the material. He then wanted to see it cut out and show how it's done. So let's get right to it. Let's do two separate tool paths. We're going to do a profile cut on the circle and we're going to cut that to the inside. The finished depth, my material, I calibered it and it was 0.765, so I'm going to go 0.767 just to make sure it gets all the way through. And we'll use a quarter inch end mill and we're going to define the material. So the material is 0.765, and we want to Z zero the machine from the spoil board. So we'll click on that. Okay, so that's one toolpath, and we will calculate it. And you can see it right there. Then we'll highlight this rectangle, and we'll do the same thing, except we're going to cut to the outside and a quarter inch end mill and the material thickness stayed at 765 and we're going to call that profile one we'll calculate that so now we have two separate profiles or tool paths rather so let's uh, do a simulation and side and then we will simulate the second profile and we're going to hit start and there you have your two pieces cut out so we'll save these and take it out to the shop I'm going to move this over because we're using the same um, bit so we'll save them together and run them together so we'll hit save and we'll take it out to the shop and give it a cut so i've honed the onefinity and now we're getting ready to um, go ahead and zero it take the dust boot off okay so what we'll do is we will probe for X and Y first, and um, then we'll probe for Z off of the spoil board. So let's lower this down and get this uh, centered up properly. And that looks good there. So we'll put the probe on. We will probe for X, Y, and Z. Do the touch off. Okay, looks good there. So we'll continue, and we've got a quarter inch bit in there. So that part's done. Now we need to uh, zero the Z. So let's move this off to the side. See, there's a little bit of leftover tape from my previous job there. Okay, we'll flip the probe over. We'll go ahead and lower that down. And then we will do a probe Z. OK, 
Okay, we'll go ahead and touch off again and we will continue. Okay, so we've got that all done. We'll raise this back up. We will go to the home position and confirm. Okay, we'll turn this on and uh, we'll see how we do on the cut. Okay, I probably should have got that down a little bit better, but um, as you can see, there is absolutely no scoring on the uh, spoil board. I'm going to try and take this one out too, but I can see the blue tape right in there. And fortunately, the blue tape held this one in place. But again, there's absolutely no scoring on the spoil board. And you can see where it was cutting, but there's nothing on the spoil board. So that's it.